All right, so we're back. The uh, lift pump wasn't priming. I took it off, opened it up. Valves were junk. I went and I bought one off eBay. It was only 26 bucks, so it was very cheap. Uh, it looks to be just fine. So we're gonna put that on here. This tube going up. Connection on the bottom here is seized up. So I got a new tube as well. That was only about 20 bucks on eBay. Um, for the dealers, this was 50 something and the pump was 118, so I decided to wait a few days. Um, so we're gonna start. The first gasket came off on the lift pump. There is a metal plate and another gasket here. Um, I got two new gaskets. I don't know if I really need to take this one off, but. You know, that thing's on there solid. I think I'm just going to replace the outer gasket. If that thing's hard to get off, it's probably sealed. It doesn't look like it's been leaking. So, make sure there's no gasket. So here's our new pump. It's uh, generic, but none of these last particularly well anyway. I think this will be just fine. And I don't think we'll have to glue this gasket on. You can see it's got a little X pattern there. It sort of grabs onto the threads. But we'll, uh, we'll stay in place here and put this on here. Say made in China on there, so it's not. I don't think this is a genuine Cummins one. It said it might be, but it looks the same. I don't think I care. I am pleased it came with a pack of washers though for sealing. I don't really want to reuse those. I have in a pinch, but it's really nice when they give you new ones. box of these, but I always seem to have the wrong size. the same. These are those steel washers with the rubber lip in them. So on these banjos you just stick one on either side. Mosquitoes. It's a little bit high, but I think it'll squish down. Go. 
guessing the actual Cummins one probably would have fit a little easier, but For 20 bucks including shipping, it wasn't too bad. Oh, he's looking late. <laughs> So our knockoff tube is not a perfect fit, but it seems to work in the washers that came with it. Too thick, but we'll make it work. I'd like to get this thing running today. Now we need to connect to the bottom. This is just hand tight. fuel line onto there. So I need to grab my L pump and get that fitting on. Get our fitting. Just cleaned it up, put some fresh dope on it. something like that. Keep it out of the way of our fiber. That would like a little more, I think. works. I can hear it sucking. Leader up here, we can crack. Make sure our filter's blood. Look at that, we got fuel coming out of the bleeder. Shut this guy. Injector lines are cracked. Here. It's 
So right now I'm pumping this and waiting for the other end of these injector lines to start leaking. It will tell me if there's fuel all the way through. 